When you think of sugar cane, you might imagine cookies, cakes, and all kinds of candies. So how in the world do we use sugar cane to make disposable dinnerware? It turns out sugar cane is useful for a lot more than sugar. Let's take a trip to the sugar cane field to learn more. Sugar cane is a tall, dense grass that can grow up to 20 feet tall. When the sugar cane is ready to be harvested, most of the stalk is cut, but the base stalk is left in the soil, where it can regrow without being replanted. This makes sugarcane products more eco-friendly than tree-based ones, because trees don't naturally regrow after you chop them. Cutting down trees can lead to deforestation, reducing our planet's supply of forests. Using sugarcane instead of trees keeps our planet happy and healthy. But how does sugarcane get turned into dinnerware? After they are harvested, the sugarcane stalks are squeezed, causing a sweet, sugary liquid to drip out. This liquid is then boiled until only the sugar is left, which is later used for bread, cupcakes, and other treats. From the remaining stalk, the soft pith, inside of the sugarcane, is removed and later used to feed livestock. This leaves the hard outer ring of the stalk, which is dried, boiled, and crushed to make a fibrous pulp called bagasse. Finally, the bagasse is pressed to create plates, bowls, and other household products. So there you have it! Sugarcane becomes bagasse, and bagasse becomes dinnerware, sustainably, and without wasting any of the plant. And because it's a natural product, it's 100% compostable and biodegradable, as well as moisture-resistant and able to withstand temperatures up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes bagasse perfect for high-quality, affordable, and eco-friendly dinnerware that we're proud to offer to you.